If I see one more white dude drunk on power, I might have to grab the elixir from his hand and take a sip, because I want a little taste of something that makes me feel that invincible. I want to drink that drink. And once I've got it in my system, I think I might just have to punch a hole next to all the other plaster caves and the frat house walls, tell my girl as I'm taking her up to my room that I was just really pissed. I hope that turns her on. My emotional unavailability and growing resentment for people who tell me no, I'll take another swig and I feel like voting for that man. The one that was strong enough to not let those silly women get in his way, saying things with their lips and their tongues. Women lie. Talk about women. Look over there, don't look at me. Don't look at any of us too hard or you'll have to take away our Oscars, our Lifetime Achievement Awards, our jobs. And you don't want to do that, do you? Especially since women lie. Women like to say that men gave them bruises, that gave them nightmares, that gave them therapy appointments. Those silly women who have worked decades for their power love putting their names and faces out as victims, risking their careers just to make us look bad. But jokes on them, it makes us look all the more powerful. We are all the more powerful. History is sliding back down into a nice, clean, white ceramic mug and we're holding the spoon. I drink the drink and I see it from the inside and I feel so warm and safe. But drinks don't last forever. And the drink I drank wears off. And I'm on the corner, a busy intersection, looking down at the map on my phone, up at the street signs. Behind me, there's loafers and pea coats and two beers and paper bags. They get my attention away from my silly phone and they give me a new nickname. Sexy girl on the corner. I sure hope it sticks. I'm so relieved you find me attractive. It's all I was thinking about, standing here trying to find my way to the museum. You're all I wanted this morning when I packed my bag with a sketchbook, my wallet, an umbrella for the rain, and some pepper spray. I got on my knees and prayed to God that some random boy would want me on my knees. Otherwise, why did I even bother leaving the house today? How would I breathe without your comments inflating and deflating my confidence? How would I eat without you shoving words down my throat, then cutting me off when they come back up? How would I find my way to the train station without your kissy noises as my breadcrumbs? I'd be so very lost without you. Drink your drink and keep talking at me. Put it in a flask and go to school or work or go to a poetry slam. You may think you're done for the night, but it's on your armrest right now, seeping into your body. That's why you're thinking, this is a little harsh. <laughs> We're not all like that. Let it tingle through your bloodstream. Disassociate from your whiteness and your maleness. Hear a woman call rape. Put your fingers in your ears and sing, Mary had a little lamb. Forget all the times you, hear, you heard your friends say, I'd smash. <laughs> I just want a thick bitch. How many bodies you got? And did nothing. 33% of women who are raped contemplate suicide. How many bodies you got? In my dreams, on the street corner, I grab your drink and I throw it in the gutter. I let your tongue dry and you find yourself shrinking down into my frame. So I start to give you advice. Smile, sunshine. You're too pretty to frown. Walk looking at the ground so you don't make eye contact, sweetie. If his pupil meets your pupil, the court will say you wanted it. Hey, baby, take my mace from my keychain. Have fun watching men watch you. Nice ass, by the way. I just had to say it. <laughs> You're too beautiful. Have fun walking home alone from the train station. Have fun living in my body, since you wanted it so damn bad. <laughs>